Wilson here aboard Creative American 4 and I was going to show you on our Adrena a little bit of uh, what happens when the wind drops off to nothing and uh, it comes from the wrong direction and the path that is taken there before by the boat and what levels of frustration might occur. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here and here we are again, uh, here's our Adrena that we've seen before. Uh, this is our route. This is where we are right now, coming up to uh, Rio. And uh, the area in question is right here. And I'll zoom in on that. We were coming along, let's see here, coming along, coming along, coming along, having a little piece of dinner. We're at five knots of uh, uh, true wind speed, three knots of boat speed. Uh, and then the boat gets up here. I take a nap after dinner. The boat decides to follow the new wind, just takes a left turn here. The wind just suddenly starts to come in from the uh, uh, west instead, and we sail down here, and I wake up and see what's going on and try to rec uh, sort of recoup things here. Here the little data box is saying three knots of wind, boat speed 0.7 knots, and uh, when one zooms in to get the, uh, the, the really finer detail, we've come down here, trying to make this route up or around here um, and the boat is going now 1.2 knots, 2.7 knots of true wind speed, uh, pretty much out of control uh, and then uh, we end up going due south here, um, uh, not sure what direction the wind was blowing at that point or not blowing and we come along and we go for a while and then there's another detour to the southeast and then to the east and then to the northeast and then we path, pass out of that um, area and we get up in here and I'm um, not quite sure why we have both red and green uh, tracks up here either overlapping day to day or um, uh, maybe it's the port tack, starboard tack situation that was going on, boat speed 1.0 knots there. And then we get up into a situation here where you can see the circles that the boat is doing as we're trying to uh, um, uh, get the boat under control and get going in the right direction. At this point, the Geno had been rolled up because um, you can't really jive it or attack it. And so uh, we've done circles here, circles here, out of control. The pilot turns itself off at uh, under one knot of boat speed. Um, over here, trying to get sorted out again, head to the east, to the east, to the east. Um, and then there's one. <laughs> and of course, these are all really small ranges we're going along here. We're not going very far at all um, in this. And then you look at this incredible mess here where um, we just got going in circles and we couldn't control the boat whatsoever. And round and round and round we went. And um, the frustration of this is that, that you know that uh, uh, Alan Rura and the other guys up ahead are pulling away at 12 knots and the guys behind her coming up at 12 knots and we're doing this for three, four, almost five hours around in circles, circles. So we get out of that somehow, had another circle there, head off to the east, have another little mess up here, don't know what that was, can't remember, um, and uh, finally we get going again. The breeze comes in from the southeast, which is at least from the proper half of the, of the uh, uh, range, and um, we'll head off to the uh, northeast. Uh, that was the plan. Uh, it got changed here where suddenly something happened again. That, that little inclination of a southeast wind went away. And look at this. We're heading down southeast now. Now we're heading due south. Uh, one of the course we want is due north. We finally get things straightened around here and head due north again um, with that southeast wind and head northeast. Uh, towards where within the group files it looked like it should be stronger, ultimately stronger being these are all five knot wind, th th these are these are current wind barbs, but this is what it was looking like last night too. So um, anyway, and then on our pathway finally, uh, but what a chaotic mess that was, incredibly frustrating, went for three, four, five hours, and uh, that's what can happen when King Neptune decides to <laughs> have his way with you. Uh, that's it for today.